surviving the apocalypse. The how-tos and how-not-to-tos. Hey, you. Yes, you. The end of the world's coming soon, pal. Are you ready? <laughs> no need to fret, little Timmy. By the end of this film, you'll have the know-what wherewithal to withstand even the worst of the worst catastrophes, such as the atom bomb, lousy beatniks, or even domestic terrorists. Look at them. Horrible, ain't it? Every household needs these key items to survive an apocalypse. Chickens, keto ice cream, whiskey, graphene, and of course, Alex Jones. Also food and water. Lucky for you, both of these are plentiful. Food can be found anywhere, on the ground, in the air, or at any of your local grocery stores, which of course, as we all know, will always be there. Water, on the other hand, is even easier to find. Why, it simply flows from the top of skyscrapers like wine down into the mouths of the people below. Uh... I said the water flows like wine! Yes, you too can be prepared for the apocalypse. And hey, if you don't listen to us, don't come whining me when your children don't have graphene to eat. This car has a very interesting history. This is like a, what's the, the model? It's like a Mercedes, I think CL, G, GL 450. It's a V8 German. It's only four years old, or five. It's from 2016. And I think it spent most of its life up here. It's actually from Virginia. It's from like a uh, auto import uh, dealership. We went to the Mercedes the other day to get it serviced. It looks like they did fill it. The um, Mercedes techs looked up the vehicle history and they said that the original owner bought the car brand new from the dealer. They got a, a 40,000 miles extended warranty and they never took it in once to get any maintenance done for four years. I don't know how many miles that is, but that could mean they, they drove it like for 50,000 miles without changing the oil. As a result, we have massive oil leaks everywhere. There's like, like the high pressure fuel pump seals are bad. Um, the cylinder heads are bad, like the, the camshaft cover, all kinds of stuff. And it's just leaking oil everywhere. And I don't even know if the cylinders are in good condition. Like the block could be completely scrap because they could have destroyed the piston rings doing this. We actually overfilled it because it's burning like 40% of its oil in a week. This is supposed to save us money versus dri having Uber drivers. And plus, you know, Uber is not very personable. It's just like a random person picking up a very high profile guest. So that's where we got this thing. And it's a great car, but you know, if someone's so rich they can afford to destroy a brand new car and then like sell it and buy a new one, good for them. <laughs> I think the dealer is really responsible. If you have the ability to look up the whole vehicle history and maintenance stuff and you, you don't disclose that, that it's like got a completely blown engine or screwed up um, mechanical, me mechanically, then uh, that's like fraud. We're the ones who have to eat it. Um, Tim bought an extended warranty just for that uh, fact, but you know, we have to go with the fine print as to whether or not they're gonna pay for a $15,000 engine repair. We're just finishing up the wiring in here. Lots and lots of HDMI cable. And we're gonna run them along the ceiling. So it's gonna go starting with these two cameras all the way back here, up to the roof, and then all the way down this way, and then into these eight ports right here. And that's four cables coming this way for four cameras, and then two more coming this way. Um, oh yeah, one right here. Lots of cables. First, I gotta figure out exactly how far I need. Where's the fatter one? This one's easy. This one. Using Carter's patented Velcro technique. Look at that. 
Ian is gonna be camera one, two, three, four, five. Right here. And this one here in the bottom is pointing at guest one. Bong. You want to try it, Luke? This is Gus Gus, and then the skinny one <laughs> from Cinderella. Hey Luke! So their names are Gus Gus and the skinny one from Cinderella. Yeah. I wonder what kind of rodents they are. Like, there's different types of mice. Like, these have unusually long legs. <gasps> are they like my, those like kangaroo mice? No. Oh no, it's tail is sticking out. That's not good. You're probably gonna get the Spanish flu and die. Brett secretly hates me. He doesn't like me around. Like, that makes no sense. You're mean to me in every vlog, but I secretly hate you. I don't know. Doesn't I can't make any word. sense. I can't word right now. I would stop you, but then I'd have to touch you back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow! <laughs> Brett and I secretly are okay with each other. I lied. He doesn't like to have me around. Oh, what the f Was that real or act? <laughs> I don't know anymore. I placed a bet on the horse least favored to win because it pays the most. So it basically means you're going to lose your money. But maybe it'll be one of those old, uh, those old underdog stories. And my phoenix will come out on top and I'll walk away with several thousand dollars. It's Six like me, me challenging you to like a, a boxing match, punching you once, running away and saying, I went undefeated, I retire. It's I'm an undefeated, undefeated champion. Uh, Luke told me that number seven is undefeated. And I was like, is. oh, I'll put a big bet. And it's a jockey who's never raced before. So he's, he's technically right. Look at him doing that little trot, getting all warmed up. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Oh, that's cool. Who's gonna win? Oh, that guy's totally lost. Look at that horse. It's like Pepe Le Pew horse in the race. He ends up winning. Oh, look at that Ryan Sorkin. Oh, the favorite. He's in the lead. Look at that. Look how good he is. No. 
Oh, yeah. Three, three just took a leap. Who's three? Three, I got strong fiber. Oh, it's strong fiber? I think I just lost everything. I won, I won the <laughs> oh, it's all over. I won the, I won the trifecta box. Yeah. You bet like how much? I bet uh, $2. Yeah. Alright, so who won what? <laughs> I bet $2 on the trifecta box. Luke, Luke was wrong. Luke was like, he's undefeated. I got an edge, man. And I was like, I'm putting down $200. And I'm broke. But I bet on the guy who was the least favored to win. How could I have lost? You want to stick around for another race? No, I don't know. Look at Dave He's yelling at you. What gamblers do, blame all their problems on everyone else but themselves. Hey, you talked about, I thought he liked personal responsibility. So I think it's only fair that Tim has to buy a race horse now. Yeah, it's appropriate. Let's go Brandon, let's go Brandon race horse. Brought him to the magic roulette table, and he put it right down. And the dude spun the ball, and 26 came up, and he won 17.50. That's the magic. I think we're gonna need uh, two more of those blackout curtains Woo. to cover it properly. Yeah. Well, all that's not done yet. What do you mean it's not done? It's yet? not done yet. It's not done. I, I, excuse me, my fingers are there. It's not done yet. Well, it is done. No, it isn't. <laughs> See what happened? Oh my God. I'm like, it's not done yet. I'm gonna split it. I built it. Brush your fingers. I anyway. built it. It's done. So Tim, I've got one back here. It's kind of a little bit of a All right. Now you can sit on it. Mm. Your fingers were. This is nice. This is getting better and better by the minute. That little hardware box should have been in here. We can do whatever hardware, right? Probably. I'm sorry. Oh no, a stink bug! It's on the LED. Oh wait, this might be it. Huh? This is it. Oh. Here it is. I thought it was a... Oh, it didn't come in a box. I guess not. That one did. This one did. Is that everything you need for it? Yep. Oh. Very simple. Allison was wrong. Dude, this room is looking so good. Where's your Casby? What are these magnets? Oh, uh, they, I guess your contractor people put them on the stove. I don't know why. That's, oh, those are screws inside the sheetrock. Screw heads. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's smart. Yeah. We have two art. Two art. Two art. Nancy Pelosi rubbing off her face, and Joe Biden electrocuting people. Two of my favorites. Where to put them? Spin the UFO has returned. Maybe we put the drums in here, though, huh? Actually, we could put the drum kit right there. Hmm. Let's figure it out. We got this uh, alpaca. 
The scarf is made of alpaca, but the alpaca is not. The alpaca is made of China. China. 22,080. I got it like, I got it like a week ago. No, everyone else played, but they had excuses like, I guess it was a tough game for them. It's asteroids. And uh, but a lot of people- the scales to pay the bills. A lot of, no, a lot of people were saying they couldn't figure out how to play, how to move the ship. Yeah. So I, I told them that there's only six buttons in a joystick and- So you vibe. No, there's it's no not that hard to press buttons to see what happens. Yeah. Well, my friends, as you can see on the board, it is a two thousand dollar high score contest. Why? Because as the week progresses, if people aren't engaging in the contest, we start upping the wager to incentivize more and more people. But people don't pay attention, I guess. So nobody tried. Luke didn't even try one time. No, I think people tried. Okay. Uh, there's some scores. Well, see, we we don't do profit sharing here. We're not communists. So uh, me, as the capitalist CEO, need to find some way to keep the plebs, you know, uh, confident and, and, and keep their morale up. So instead of giving them a livable wage, I just incentivize, here's, here's some money, play a video game. It's a bread and circus strategy, right? I don't gotta worry about paying people a living, sal a living wage. All I gotta do is give them the chance. Well, if it's not enough money and people aren't playing, well, that's bad because it means people's morale is not being lifted. So I have to increase the number until eventually we have $2,000. Still nobody played. So Chris, as the winner, has the choice, there we go. as we often do, $2,000 cash right here. Or what's in the mystery shaker? Hear that? Could it be gold? A full ounce, two ounces worth more than your cash? Maybe. Yeah, could, it, could it be like Maybe tricking me into three ounces? Suggesting there could be a million dollars in there. There could be. On, there, listen, listen. Hear that? That sounds like a couple coins. That's got to be at least four or five ounces of gold. But by all means, you should <laughs> take check the two thousand dollars. Check if there's a leprechaun look at this. underneath it. Look, look. Tell me, what is this fiat garbage? I mean, it's not even real money. You'll be but wiping your here, ass with this in just a few days. This could be gold. It could be, and. Maybe it's made out of silver too. Make do your I choice. Keep, do I get to keep the iron? No, you get to keep what's in it. All right, I'll take the money. All right, your loss. Let's reveal what he could have won. He's gonna regret this. A fork. <laughs> it was a fork. Is it sterling silver? No. <laughs> made in China. Made in China, steel. Now, I will tell you all this, when the apocalypse happens, he's gonna wish he had that fork. Maybe more valuable. Yep. Yeah. That paper ain't gonna do you no good. But, uh, uh, yeah, so like, it was a week ago I got that score, and then I didn't actually play again because I was afraid to like scare people away from trying to beat the score. You know, if you get like a million, then people are gonna be like, screw it, I can't beat that. Yeah. The McRib is back. Oh, that's not a McRib. That's better than McRib. Arby's. We gotta pick a new game now. Oh, yeah. What should we pick? Pac-Man? That's not a bad one. Yeah. Kind of cliche. Mario. Mario, cool. Mario Bros. The original? Yeah. Going through the games. M-A-N-R. Mario Bros. Japan. Yeah. Or Mario Bros. America. I'm gonna do America. Oh wow, this is so old. The original Mario. Everyone thinks it was the NES. Two players can play as a team or compete. Yeah, you can play teams. I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> like, team up and split the prize. This one on the right, I think, is the best. It's got uh, red pepper in it. And then you take some of the red pepper feta. Bam. 